Welcome to this short presentation for students who are thinking about transferring credit to study the BSc Sport, Fitness and Coaching degree at the Open University. During this presentation, we'll provide an overview of the modules that make up the degree pathway from Level 1 to Level 3. We'll then take a more detailed look at our Level 2 and Level 3 modules, which are the most common modules to study following credit transfer. Finally, we'll give you an idea of what it's like to study as a student at the Open University. So let's start with an overview of the degree. As you can see, we have six modules, each worth 60 credits from level one to level three, which make up the full degree qualification. We have two level one modules, E117 and E119. Following completion of these modules, students can gain a certificate of higher education in sport, fitness and management. We have two level two modules, E235 and E236. Following completion of Level 1 and Level 2 modules, students can gain a Diploma of Higher Education in Sport and Fitness. Finally, we have two Level 3 modules, E313 and E314. Following completion of Level 1, Level 2 and these Level 3 modules, students can achieve the full BSc with Honours, Sport, Fitness and Coaching degree. Typically, students transferring credit will study Level 2 or Level 3 modules, depending on their circumstances and their available credit. So let's now look in more detail at the Level 2 and Level 3 modules. E235, Sport and Exercise Psychology in Action. This module is designed to introduce you to a wide range of topic areas connected to sport and exercise psychology and focuses on exploring how these can relate to practice. The module includes five study topics, exploring sport and exercise psychology, sports psychology insights and applications, psychological skills training, exercise psychology insights and applications, specialist topics in sport and exercise psychology, either burnout or injury. It's assessed using a computer marked assignment, three tutor marked assignments and an end of module assessment. Note how the weighting and word length of your assessments increases as you progress and develop during the module. An end of module assessment is a longer piece of work and is an independently produced assignment rather than an examination. E236, Applying Sport and Exercise Sciences to Coaching. This module includes six study topics with a physiological basis, exploring science and coaching, understanding the body in action, monitoring people and performance in sport and fitness, strength and conditioning in action, then some options, the child athlete, the aging athlete, environmental physiology, pushing the limits, and finally, sport and exercise science in practice. It's assessed using a computer marked assignment, three tutor marked assignments and an end of module assessment. E313, exploring psychological aspects of athletic development. This module looks at the environmental and personal psychological characteristics that influence athletic development pathways. This includes the influences of family, coaches, career transition, leadership and theoretical influences. It also explores different research approaches and instruments used in applied psychology specific to athletic development. The module includes six study topics, introduction to athletic development, family influences on athletic development, the coach athlete relationship, coach behavior, transitions through sport and topical issues in athletic development. This module is assessed using four tutor marked assignments and an end of module assessment. And finally, E314, exploring contemporary issues in sport and exercise. The key aims of this module are to help you develop your critical understanding of a range of contemporary issues in sport and exercise. These include nutrition, gender, recovery and youth sport. Using the components of a four part module framework, this module will develop your ability to research a specific subject area. The module includes six study topics and is assessed using two computer marked assignments three tutor marked assignments and an extended end of module assessment. The approach we take in this module is to develop your skills as an autonomous learner. As you can see, there's a wide range of interesting contemporary issues included in this module, such as nutritional recommendations for performance and health, inequalities in sport, beyond rest, the science of recovery, or early specialization in youth sport, choosing your final EMA project, becoming a proficient presenter, and finally completing your EMA project. 
so let's now give you an idea of what it's like to study as an OU student. Studying at the OU will be an exciting and innovative learning experience. When you study a sport and fitness module with the OU, you'll work through an online module study guide on your module website. This directs you to study a wide range of exciting learning activities and resources. These include interactive activities, academic readings in books and journals, listening to audio, viewing videos such as sport and exercise in action, using exercise science apps, and tutor group forum discussions with other students and your tutor. You'll learn in a range of engaging ways to meet your learning needs. So here's an example of the interactive virtual learning environment on the module website for the level two module E235. This gives you access to everything you need for your study, such as the online study planner or guide, your assessments, forums and resources. There's also a news feed for important and interesting updates, which you can see on the right hand side. The weekly study planner or study guide provides a weekly schedule for you to work to and provides all your study information and learning activities. This online distance study provides you with great flexibility to study from home or on the move and enables you to fit your study around your other commitments. In addition to your independent study, there are also scheduled online tutorials using Adobe Connect technology. You're encouraged to attend these tutorials as much as you can. The tutorials are delivered by your tutor to help you explore the module content and the requirements of your assessments. As you can see, you will attend a virtual classroom which is easy to use and is effectively like being in a real classroom. Your tutor can deliver a PowerPoint presentation and use other interactive activities such as breakout groups, video, web tours, quizzes and much more. You're able to communicate with your tutor and the other students in your tutor groups via microphone and text chat. Being a member of a tutor group, you'll get to use the tutor group forum to communicate with your tutor and other students in your tutor group. Many of the study activities ask you to post comments about the module content and enable you to have some debate and share your views about the topics you're studying. Therefore, you will be part of a tutor group community. Your tutor also uses the forum to post important information about your module, to give details of key events and to share other helpful study resources. What tutor support do you receive while studying with the OU? Although you're studying independently as an online distance student, you're certainly not alone in any way. In fact, you receive a high level of support from your tutor. We've already mentioned the regular online tutorials and the tutor group forum. You'll also receive detailed feedback on your assessments, which are submitted and collected online. This feedback will explain your strengths and your areas for improvement going forwards. The aim is to develop your academic practice and improve your scores as you progress through your module. Your tutor will also make regular contact with you by email and phone, and there's also scope for individual additional support tutorials if you and your tutor agree it's required. Finally, your tutor will direct you to other helpful OU study resources to target areas you need to develop in your academic practice. Academic integrity is really important as an OU student. You'll learn how to interpret and present other people's ideas and combine them with your own to produce academic work. This will include using credible academic sources, learning how to write in your own words and paraphrase the work of others, and acknowledging other people's work through good referencing practice. You'll understand how to avoid plagiarism and academic misconduct. Your tutor will give you plenty of support and guidance regarding academic practice throughout the modules that you study. There are many other great opportunities and benefits of being an AU student. The Sport and Fitness team holds a range of conferences and events that you can attend online and in person. These usually focus on contemporary and topical issues in sport and fitness. Additionally, there are online sessions to focus on academic skills development, which are delivered by study skills specialists and forums managed by the Sport and Fitness team for discussing career and progression options. We also have a dedicated sport and fitness website for all our students, which is full of innovative study resources, news and events. And finally, as an OU student, you'll be part of the OU sport and fitness community and have an identity as part of Team OU Sport. In association with Kit Locker, we have a range of Open University sport and fitness branded kit and accessories available for our students. We encourage you to wear the kit and share your pictures on Twitter. So thank you for listening and we hope you decide to study with us in the future.